State Park Gorge Masons Ross and Steve slide stones and mortar down a chute to the Gorge Trail near Pinnacle Rock. They use the rock and mortar to repair stone walls and steps that climb along Buttermilk Creek. Cornhill section of Rochester right on the wall so you're right downtown Rochester huh. wow. um, uh, living on my boat for those four days and, and you were part of this grand flotilla that was yes uh, was, uh, there, there was a flotilla that was just you know it was an introductory parade that happened at the beginning of the conference on Sunday right with the, all the introductions were made with the mayors and uh, so forth uh, this flotilla of historic and and uh, state vessels and so forth came into up the Genesee River and into the Inner Harbor there at Cornhill Landing and paraded for the audience of several thousand that was there. And, you know, bands and fanfare and great hoopla. Um, the Lois McClure was there from the Lake Champlain uh, Maritime Museum. 
with its mass and sails up so you can oh, see wow. what it looks like when it's sailing. That was in Ithaca here some time. Yeah, you know, that was in two. Ithaca here, uh, I think, in 2006 or oh, five. Or, or or something two. like that, a couple years something ago, like yeah. That. Yep, and this was their second Grand Canal tour that they they were out for three months this year. And the entire Erie doing, Canal, yeah. Doing the entire Erie Canal, and this was part of it being at the World Canal Conference. Yes, I know they spent a day up in Seneca Falls, I think. Uh, they did. Yeah, they they yeah. sailed on Seneca and Cayuga Lake. Oh, wow. Um, and then they're assisted by there's no power on the boat so huh. they're assisted by a small tugboat that ties up alongside and pulls them through the canal system right um, but out on the lakes and, and so forth they use they sail. sail wow yep that's pretty amazing yeah by now Montezuma still subject to periodic icing and frost, is reawakening to a new season. Diving and dabbling ducks arrive before the winter ice has completely melted. Here, ring-necked ducks, northern shovelers and blue-winged teals gather amid bloated carcasses of dead fish that did not survive the winter. These will soon disappear, consumed by muskrats, turkey vultures, and other scavengers of the marsh. What remains will quickly decompose, adding to the nutrient-rich substrate, where root systems are already well into a new season's growth. Step out in the morning, greet another day. always there When I first came here she was not alone Another tree stood by her side The city said that it had to go When they cut it down she almost died I returned to shore on the south side of the mouth of Salmon Creek and looked back towards Salt Point and Cayuga Lake to the north.
On September 23, 2010, the creeks and waterfalls of the Finger Lakes were dry, including 215 feet high Teganic Falls. Though it is taller than Niagara, the comparison ends there. So I'm out here at Buttermilk Falls State Park. It's uh, October 1st. We had that heavy rain that came up the east coast and dumped inches and inches on us. And don't know how much fell in Ithaca, but in Cortland, something like six and a half inches of rain fell last night. So the water's gushing when there wasn't much water on here a couple of days ago. But I happened to run into my old friend John, who is uh, with bicycle in the area, taking a look at the waterfalls. John, tell me about what you think about all this weather and these waterfalls and all this sort of stuff. Well, September uh, kind of went out wet, and um, I think if you look around, you can still see a lot of green. Color just starting, and it's already October. So this is, I think, unusual, but I think it's something we're going to probably have to get used to. I think the climate is changing. We all feel that, those of us that spend a lot of time outdoors. Teganic Falls regained its glory. Teganic Creek freezes to form a huge ice dome at the base of the 215 feet high falls.
The ice dome is like a volcano in reverse. Water plunges into a crater at the top. Then water spills out over the top of the dome to freeze on the sloped ice, increasing the size of the dome.